Morning everybody. It's a lovely day here at Tickaboo. Sun's shining. And the reason we're talking in the truck right now is because it's windy and icy outside. It looks sunny from in here, but it's windy and cold. And we've got a project. So we showed you the bad, bad news about the skid steer. It's gonna have to have a new engine. And uh, moving these skid steers once they're dead is a pain in the butt. Now that that thing is dead, it's like a gigantic anchor. So we've got to try to figure out how to get it loaded on a trailer. And that's not gonna to be too easy, but we've got a few ideas. Our first idea is to try to use the boom truck. I don't know if it can lift the Bobcat. That would be pretty fancy if the boom truck could just pick it up and set it on a trailer. That might be wishful thinking, but we may be able to kind of pick up the back end and sort of drag, slide, maybe use some plywood. I don't know what's gonna work, but we've got to get that thing loaded up. We can't just leave it sitting in the driveway forever. So let's go figure something out and give it a try. carry this thing with the skid steer. I usually set this on a pallet and then carry the pallet around with the skid steer. So the skid steer's dead, everything's a pain. Here's the boom truck. Got a special little converter thing to hook it in up under there. That's actually wrong. I need to go find one of those to go on it. So we gotta give us a ride over to the shop. We gotta get that end to look like that end. One of these things is not like the other. We need to find an end like that. We need to take this end out so it's boom, boom, the same. Rattler, find a wrench that fits that. You guys look in where the wrenches are. Find a wrench that fits that and take it out. Boom, 9 sixteenths. There you go. For me too. You can work on yours. This one's mine. If it gets windy and easier. That one in. Make sure you don't get it cross threaded. Do you know what cross threaded means? Yeah. Alright, don't get it cross threaded. A while back, we were short on 9 16 wrenches around here, but Laura got on Amazon and ordered me like four of them. So we're good now. There's our dirt bike. Ran crashed it, so we had to sew it up. Back to work hauling garbage, huh? Right. 
Robbie's the main garbage hauling man around here. <laughs> Oh, you. You're dirty. You like that, Reggie? Mitch, are you taller than the tires? All right, Riley, you're going to hear what you mean. I'll tell you what I'm hoping to see that. So here's your air tank right here. And we've got this fitting on the air tank. So I'm going to put this in it. going to air up that air tank and once it's full we're going to be able to release the brakes on this truck so that it'll roll when we pull it and then we can get it to start. Usually when you start the truck the air compressor on the truck pumps up the tank and then releases the brakes but since the truck doesn't start we have to air it up first. Okay, now don't get in front of that truck too much as it could release those brakes anytime now. Are you gonna be able to drive that white truck and pull me or do we need to know get go get more help? Yeah, we better get some help, huh? Somebody's gotta be cameraman. Somebody's gotta pull this truck and somebody's gotta drive it. Pretty nice. Oh. To us. But there is rat poop. Like that. This is a eight speed. Chain snap and go right through this. Yeah, well, I'm gonna crawl right through the roof. You don't have to get this thing rolling too much. It's got an old Detroit in it. You barely get it rolling and pop the clutch. I lied. Get it rolling a little more than that. It's a cold day. Well, the cows probably think this is a feed truck. Flatbed 
trailer with this, I guess. Or should we hook up the flatbed trailer? No. No. But I was thinking we could hook the trailer onto this, reach over the back of the trailer, and try to drag the skid steer up on it. Hey, bad idea. kid was riding over there without their seatbelt. Somebody slammed on their brakes. The kid's head slammed into the windshield. Over there, it almost went through. Well, we got it started. I had a plan if the chain snapped. I was just going to crawl up in there.
going to get plywood to set on the end of the ramp. So that will just slide up on. We hope it'll work. Do you think it'll work, Rance? gonna go with the forks yeah, with the good question we're probably gonna drag I wonder if we can get those forks off just seems like they'll go down too far
go straight on. What do you say? I said one track's locked up. Oh, oh. Yeah, I thought both of them. That'll haul right there. That's good. Give it a little slack, we'll unhook it. Yeah, that's good. loading went pretty good really besides for that nasty cold wind that kind of made it no fun but other than that it went just like we planned it that doesn't always happen for sure but this time it did got that loaded up and I'm headed to town with it now I had several options of what I could do once we knew that engine was bad there really was the option of abandoning the skid steer altogether and we use it every single day so that was just gonna totally cripple our operation not to have it uh, I talked early on about looking online 
buying an engine off the internet and putting it in ourselves. I've got a friend over in Newcastle, Christy Tollis. Her husband works for Caterpillar. And just to get his opinion, <coughs> I got a hold of him and he said, do not, do not buy an internet engine and put it in there. He said those are something somebody else has thrown away for some reason. Somebody's rebuilt them, but he figured that was a bad way to go. <coughs> so he looked and Salt Lake City has three engines for that skid steer. He's gonna get one down there to Wheeler Cat and they're gonna put it in for me. I'm gonna know I have a good engine and I'm gonna know it was put in there right and that's gonna make me feel pretty good. We're, we're not gonna need that thing to be breaking down all the time and if we're gonna spend money on fixing it, I don't need to screw something up myself which could happen. So I'm gonna take that over here to Cedar City. Wheeler Cat's gonna slam a new engine in it and this thing's gonna be good to go so that's the plan headed out with it right now hopefully I can get over there before those guys close There we go. Those skid stairs dropped off at the big cat store. Those guys will get her going. I'm not worried. Worried about paying for it. That is not gonna feel good, but they'll get it fixed. <laughs> 